Hey guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel. If you have not been here before, welcome for the first time. Now this video is kind of a special video because it is a recap of my Jimmy Awards experience that I just came back from almost a week ago and I'm still overwhelmed and I'm still overjoyed um, and I'm kind of recovering because of all the things that I did there. It was all amazing, very much so. For those of you guys who don't already know, my trip to New York City was sponsored by the Broadway League um, slash the Jimmy Awards and I was there because I was a student reporter for the Jimmy Awards um, this year and it's the first time that they have ever done that before. If you guys don't know what the Jimmy Awards are, where have you been? But also here's an article that I'll link um, by the New York Times which basically summarizes the Jimmy Awards as the Tony Awards for high schoolers, which is pretty accurate. Now to give you a perspective on my side of the spectrum, a lot of people have been just asking like how'd you get in? How'd you win the competition? Did you win the Jimmy Awards? And like I'm like no, I'm just a student reporter. Basically how it happened was when I was auditioning um, as a Best Supporting Actress for my regional program, I was asked because I was not a lead role to participate in a weird video thing that the Jimmy Awards had. Little did I know I would get it, but basically the process was I sent in my video, the regional program chose one video from all the people in that regional area that submitted a video, then it went through to the Jimmy Awards and the Jimmy Awards chose 10 finalists and from those 10, basically we had to um, self campaign and promote ourselves amongst everybody and I'm pretty sure my friends were like sick of me reposting but um, it was amazing because the amount of support that I got from so many of my friends my relatives all over the world is just amazing and it made me feel so loved and so blessed to be part of a part of so many communities around the world now if you're curious to what video I actually made that got me to New York City I'll link it over here and it's actually a link to the Jimmy Awards Facebook page where you can scroll down to see, um, take a look at all the other candidates that were running for student reporter, or you can also check out the photos and the videos from this year's Jimmy Awards. Now as a student reporter, I really had three jobs. The first was to promote the Jimmy Awards on my own social media channels. Um, the second was to create a video of my Jimmy Awards experience, and the third was to live stream at the Jimmy Awards as a student reporter. I had to do all my live reporting alongside Nate Garner, which was my student reporter partner basically, so we were both chosen to come over to New York City for the Jimmy Awards, and um, here is the link to his video, you should totally check it out, and also here is a link to my video, which you should also check out. Um, in that video, it's just like a bunch of clips, it's basically a montage of my experience at the Jimmy Awards, but now I'm actually going to deeper depths about my experience since that video was kind of like I had to finish it in a day and is more of a montage than like an actual explanation face to face. So if you're curious about the details of the Jimmy Awards and my experience, keep watching. So in the morning of the first day, um, Nate and I were eating at Junior's with um, Neil, Kayla, and Tyler and they're all from the Broadway League and they're all so amazing and so supportive and they gave us a rundown of what we were going to do, how the day looked like, and we basically had to run for from Juniors, which is right in front of the Minskoff Theater, to the Minskoff Theater because all 74 nominees came in their buses from their NYU dorms really early. So we ran over there and it was so funny because like I've never had to like sprint across um, a road in New York City for like a reason like you see in the movies, but I did. Once we got there, all the nominees were there. It was so exciting. The Minskoff Theater is actually where The Lion King was playing and I watched The Lion King in that theater two years ago, so it was so nostalgic for me. It was so amazing. As we were there, we were basically filming them going into the Minskoff Theater. It was so great meeting the nominees for the first time. I got to meet with my really good friend Eric Gaiden and he is actually one of the Jimmy Award nominees. When all the nominees nominees came in, they took a huge group selfie which was awesome and I got to meet Van Kaplan, the director of the Jimmy Awards, and Keisha Lalama who was the choreographer. As I was walking around the theater taking more footage for my Journey to the Jimmys video, I just kept thinking to myself like, wow, I'm amid so much talent and these are gonna be the Broadway stars of tomorrow because they're all literally like the cream of the crop of this nation's musical theater stars. 
So basically throughout the day, Nate and I were just taking a bunch of videos. We went to the mezzanine of the Minskoff Theater. We went backstage um, where all the Lion King masks and props were just hung up. Unfortunately, I couldn't take any videos or photos because of copyright. Also, we went on the Minskoff stage and it was truly magical. It was so funny to see everyone's types of reactions that they had when stepping onto their first Broadway stage. It was definitely such an eye-opening experience for me. It was a beautiful stage and it's just amazing to think that this is the first time that these stars are like going to perform but also definitely not the last time for some of them. At around 3 p.m. we met with Graham and he's also part of the Broadway League. He is awesome and he took Nate and I to Schmackery's, an iconic cookie shop or bake shop um, in New York City and there we met Laura Haywood and Matt Roden. Laura Hay Haywood um, actually runs Broadway Girl NYC. You can follow her on Twitter and on Instagram. She is awesome. She's basically a reporter for all things Broadway and so is Matt Roden. He is a content content producer at broadway.com and he has really funny videos that you should also check out. It's awesome because the Jimmy Awards nominees have their own mentors and their own coaches for their whole week experience in New York City but since Nate and I were basically doing our whole um, Jimmy Award shebang and one day um, Matt and Laura were our mentors for social media and basically they taught us so many things they taught us what the difference between um, a brand and an identity is and how you should always differentiate the two and Matt taught me how why you do things is the most important and it's not necessarily what you actually do it's why it was just such an amazing talk over cookies. Probably the best talk with cookies that you could ever have or ask for. They were amazing and here's a picture of all of us. It was such a nice time. It was such an honor meeting such influential people in the Broadway industry. Right after Nate and I were sent home so that we could get ready for the Jimmy Awards, we got ready for the red carpet. Actually had to walk from our hotel to the Minskoff Theater so it was funny because I was just like walking around in a really like sparkly dress that was like way extra to be just walking walking on the street. The red carpet was just an amazing time. I got to meet Kenny Ortega, the freaking choreographer, director of High School Musical 1, 2, and 3, and it's just... It was, it was a blast. I was fangirling and there's footage of me doing that. Again, check it out. Please, please do. It, it was a fun time. He was so kind. He called me and Nate gorgeous, which is probably the highlight of my whole trip. I was there behind Ben Platt doing interviews. The red carpet was probably the most like exhilarating time of my life. Now onto the actual Jimmy Awards. So Nate and I did some live streaming during the pre-pre-show, pre-show, and intermission of the Jimmy Awards, which you can actually check out over here. That was an awesome time. I loved um, being live and just in the moment and improving. It was just such a, an awesome first time reporting live for an actual award show. It was super cool um, because Nate and I had our own box in the mezzanine where we were just live tweeting the entire Jimmy Awards, which is so weird because you know, you're not supposed to have your phone on during an award show or let alone an, a show, let alone one on Broadway. So it was so funny because we had to get um, cleared with the usher that was behind us because they were like, no phones, but we were like, but this is our job. So it all worked out. It was so weird because it was against all cells and instincts of my human body to have my phone out during a show, but it was there and you can actually look at my Twitter feed over here. It's just like first-hand reactions and I thought it was the most unfiltered way to go. The award show was just an amazing time. It was an, a sold out house. The crowd was so funny. Um, ben Platt was an amazing host. The script that he had obviously was pre-written and during the rehearsals we heard someone else like saying it and I was just like that's gonna be awkward for Ben Platt to say but Ben Platt is the best. Like he's so good. God bless you. During the after party, it was awesome. We were at Planet Hollywood. We got free food and free drinks. I got to introduce myself and interview Sophia Deller and Tony Marino, um, who were the winners of the Jimmy Awards, which was awesome because I know they're gonna be on Broadway stages, like, I don't know, next year. Um, but yeah, we just had a fun time. Matt was there again, and we essentially just sat in a circular table um, with Nate, and we were just talking about so many deep things, and it 
it was 3 a.m. and they actually eventually had to kick us out of Planet Hollywood because everybody else went home earlier because of the whole, um, they had chaperones, some of the nominees were still minors, but we got to stay because our parents were with us in the after party. So that was basically the whole recap of my Jimmy Awards. Um, stay. I just want to thank so much the Broadway League. I want to thank Kayla, Rachel, Neil, Tyler, Valerie Graham, um, Laura, and Matt, and just everyone that made this experience possible to Amanda for booking everything. Um, thank you so much. I I cannot believe the Jimmy Awards is an actual thing and for you guys to have the student reporter thing just in time for my senior year is just amazing. It's a blessing and it's a trip that I will truly not forget. I encourage you guys to check out the Jimmy Awards website and support the Broadway League, um, make donations and just make all of this possible for future Broadway stars and for theater kids like me in the future.